Abu Dhabi. This booming metropolis boasts a unique building, the Emirates Palace. In recent years, the modern capital city of the United Arab Emirates has changed much of both its appearance and character. The fish market has also been modernized. Here, high standards of hygiene ensure that the fish from the Arabian Gulf is kept totally fresh. The catch is not only sold, but also processed here. And there's a regular supply of customers. Much of the seafood is purchased by the numerous five-star hotels of the United Arab Emirates. In addition to all the modernization that has taken place, the culture and history of the Arabian Peninsula are also a source of national pride. In Heritage Village, the traditional arts and crafts of the Emirates continue to be produced and are popular with one and all. The history of Abu Dhabi is relatively recent. This Emirate was founded in 1791, although the area had been settled much earlier. The oldest archaeological finds have been discovered near to the capital and date back to the 4th century BC. Dromedary and souvenir sellers bid farewell to visitors. Today's Abu Dhabi is a city of contrast, old and new. The mosques that were once the city's tallest buildings are now overlooked by various skyscrapers. Spectacular architectural masterpieces combined with Arabian elements dominate the city and have turned it into one of the most modern metropolises in the world. In just a handful of years, Abu Dhabi city has been almost totally transformed. The skyline of Abu Dhabi is a scene of large and shiny skyscrapers. With around 1.5 million inhabitants, after Dubai, this city is the second largest metropolis in the United Arab Emirates. In the city center, squeezed between new office and apartment blocks, there are numerous traditional markets or souks. The vast range of products on display extends from exquisite perfumes to electronic tools and all kinds of household goods. A visit to the Dal Dockyard provides a fascinating insight into the traditional shipbuilding of the Arabian Gulf. The word Dal doesn't denote a particular type of boat, but represents a variety of marine craft. In Abu Dhabi, shipbuilding can be seen at close quarters. Despite its nostalgic appearance, the Dao is still very much in use today. These sailing boats have up to three masts and are to be seen throughout the Indian Ocean. Large, modern luxury yachts lie at anchor in the marina and in the Abu Dhabi Yacht Club, a meeting place for the oil rich.
The size of the yachts reflects the wealth of the businessmen who, thanks to the huge oil fields of this region, enjoy a good way of life on the Gulf of Arabia. It is believed that the Emirates possess around 5% of the world's gas and almost 10% of its oil. No wonder that this city is constantly changing. However, although the income gained from oil looks good for many more decades to come, the sheikhs are already planning for the future. The city's hot climate and close proximity to the sea are ideal for tourism. Abu Dhabi's Corniche has also recently been improved. It's a fine coastal boulevard containing several parks and leisure facilities. The shining green lawns and artificial ponds are the result of much investment as this region was once covered entirely by desert sand. The splendid colours of the flowers and magnificent water features symbolise the healthy economy and vast wealth of the Emirates. Cricket indicates the former influence of the British on the Arabian Peninsula, and parades on the Corniche always attract much interest. Our journey through Abu Dhabi's modern streets takes us past the Sheikh Zayed Mosque. However, one of Abu Dhabi's buildings surpasses all others, the legendary Emirates Palace, truly a hotel of the superlative. A mighty and triumphal gate leads into an oriental world of fantasy. To further the prestige of this tiny emirate, in 2001, construction of this outstanding building began. The palace was the first of several building projects designed to make Abu Dhabi into an important tourist destination. Those who created this building in the Emirates wanted more than just a luxury hotel. The Emirates Palace was also to be an important symbol. Finally, in 2005, following four years of construction, Abu Dhabi had a new majestic landmark. Due to its extraordinary dimensions and luxurious decor, the Emirates Palace was not named a hotel, but a palace. It doesn't just serve as a hotel. Official guests of the monarchy and government officials from the various members of the Emirates are also accommodated here. The first impression of the Emirates Palace highlights the special importance of this unique building. No expense was spared for its construction. It was designed by the architects Wimberley, Allison, Tong and Gu. They created a magnificent paradise, reminiscent of the Thousand and One Nights, a fusion of both contemporary and Arab Islamic elements. The colors of the complex harmonize with the surroundings, all the shades of the Arabian desert.
Even the architectural detail of the Emirates Palace is an oriental work of art, with majestic splendor everywhere. Traditional Arabian elements of design dominate the splendid facade of this luxurious palace, whose size and splendor is unsurpassed anywhere in the world. The entrance hall amazes those who see it for the first time. It's the entrance to a world of golden beauty. It's not difficult to understand how Abu Dhabi's Emirates Palace cost $3 billion to build, a record-breaking sum. Imported marble and numerous magnificent chandeliers of the finest Swarovski crystal create a luxurious and extravagant atmosphere. Each blinking of the eye reveals yet another surprise in this awesome building. Indeed, the guests here almost feel as though they're part of the local royalty. One section of the hotel is not open to the public, as it is strictly reserved for the ruling families of the United Arab Emirates. The rooms are beautifully decorated with elegant furnishings and spectacular flower arrangements. The entrance hall of the Emirates Palace is a majestic sight, with everywhere a new adventure. Whether it be the hotel's many bars and restaurants or its relaxing lounges, the accent is on total luxury. The owner of the palace is the Abu Dhabi government and Sheikh Zayed Al Nayyan. And there's no need to venture far to the shops. The hotel's luxurious boutiques stock just about everything. The shopping area in the Emirates Palace represents the height of luxury and self-indulgence. In this land of oil, money is everything. A night in this seven-star hotel also comes at a price, and it has 302 rooms plus 60 suites. In order to cater for almost any function in Abu Dhabi, the hotel also contains a prize-winning conference center. This area has magnificently decorated marble floors, and the hotel's main dome is even larger than that of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. There's an oil painting of the hotel's creator, the President of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Zayed Al Nayyan. The amount of money spent on the creation of the Emirates Palace was quite amazing, but it was always destined to be an object of high prestige.
blended furnishings and decor are also to be seen in each of the spacious and luxurious suites of this seven-star hotel. Modern communication and entertainment systems have been stylishly adapted to fit in with the majestic elegance of the Emirates Palace. Noble furnishings, gold leaf and marble adorn the magnificent Khalij or palace suites. To top it all, a private butler is also on hand for each guest and the bathrooms have taps of gold. These exquisite bedrooms are a luxury to behold. From the hotel's main building, as well as the west and east wings, the beach and large pool can be seen. Each wing of the hotel has a discreet ambience and in addition a reception area also has direct access to the beach. This section of the hotel bristles like an Aladdin's cave of wonderful decor and furnishings. Each room is a masterpiece of interior design. The Emirates Palace is a feast for all the senses, as well as a luxurious symbol of the Arab world. In view of its fantastic interior design and golden splendor, it's hardly surprising that it has gained so much international acclaim. The Abu Dhabi government must be well pleased. The Emirates Palace has focused the world's spotlight on Abu Dhabi. The palace is the imposing counterpart of the Burj Al Arab, the seven-star hotel of neighboring Dubai. The immense wealth of Abu Dhabi will, due to its oil supplies, increase still further over the coming years. Sheikh Zayed Al Nayyan and his advisors are already planning further gigantic projects to attract the world's tourists. The Emirates Palace also has its own exclusive access road with the highest standards of security to protect visiting VIPs. A number of important events take place here to which those from the worlds of both international film and sport are invited. Concerts are also performed here. Wealthy hotel guests also expect a good supply of quality entertainment too, and the Emirates never lets them down. The hotel's large pool area and beach provide a relaxed and informal way to while away the hours. And there's lots of room for everyone. The hotel's exclusive beach is 1.3 kilometers long. The 
pool and bar plus several jacuzzis are an extremely civilized way in which to relax. And the hot and arid climate of the Gulf guarantees a healthy suntan. The large outdoor area features many elements of traditional Arabian architecture. Individual butler service also extends to the beach and turns a stay at the Emirates Palace into a wonderful adventure. Pure relaxation in oriental surroundings. Several cupolas adorn both park and hotel. Indeed, the complex features no less than 114 of them. The hotel has also broken some other records. It's 714 meters long and has a circumference of 2.5 kilometers. The exterior of this palatial hotel is also a remarkable sight. Even the rear of the main building shines out in all its glory. Palm trees along the long private beach add to the wonderful holiday atmosphere. Numerous water features look as though they're celebrating the wealth and sheer decadence of the Emirates Palace. A majestic holiday experience on the Arabian Gulf, the Emirates Palace unites the splendor of its location with the majestic luxury of a seven-star hotel. There's also a large pool area at the western wing of the hotel. A slow-flowing canal links various pools. The dense vegetation that surrounds the pools creates an exotic atmosphere, a tropical paradise under the Arabian sun. Honeymooners enjoy the romantic waterfalls, while children and the young at heart play on the water slides. Here, fun for the entire family is guaranteed. The hot climate makes the water an even more welcome pleasure. In Abu Dhabi's Emirates Palace, guests are treated like royalty. It truly has fulfilled its function of being a symbol of unashamed luxury. The most expensive hotel in the world is more like a palace than a hotel. An extravagance of service, design and architecture. The Emirates Palace, an Arabian dream come true.